I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of questions from my subscriber. The question here is find the equations of the bisectors of the angle between line joining the points with position minus 3i minus 9j 2i plus 3j and the line meeting the x and y axis at the points with positive vectors 3i and 4j. So, for the benefit of all my students, I like to translate this question into normal equation of the line. Uh, what we are given here is the vector form. When I say that points with position minus 3i minus 9j, i is along the x-axis and j is along the y-axis, right? So, think like this. Uh, so these are basically coordinate points. So I'll kind of sketch the graph which will help you to understand and I'll take my time to do this video. So kind of go slow. So this point is minus 3i minus 9j means you go 3 units to the left, right? And 9 units down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, kind of like this here. The other point is 2i, 3j. So we go 1, 2 units and three positive, so one, two, three, kind of here, right? So joining these two points, you get your line. Okay, so think this is your nine. So that's the first line uh, which we have drawn, joining these two points, correct? Now let's look into the second line, which is having X and Y intercepts, right? It says uh, <coughs> intercepts at three I, and 4j. So so this was uh, this was 2i. So 3i is kind of here. And uh, 4j, let's say, uh, let's say somewhere there, right? So somewhere there. Okay. So we'll join, draw this line kind of like this. Is it okay? So that is the line L2. So we'll name this line as L1 and L2. Now, in vectors, it is, uh, uh, you know, when you're given the points, you can find the direction, and knowing one of the points, you can always write the vector equation. But in both, what we do, Cartesian equation is kind of common, right? So I'll write uh, the equation of these lines in the Cartesian equation form, and follow with different types of ways in which it could be done. So let's write down the equation for the first point first line L1. So line L1 has basically two points. Think like this. One point is, let's call this point A, which is 2 comma 3. Think like this, right? So 2i 3j is this point and B is minus 3 minus 9. Is it okay? So these also become the position vectors. So if you are given two points, then you can always write equation of line as y minus y1 right, equals to m times x minus x1. So this is for most of my students who do not understand vectors, so I have switched over to the standard way of doing things. Okay, uh, but the methods, uh, Raymond, you can apply the method which you are following. Okay, so we'll take a as our point, so we get y minus 2, oh, sorry, 3, yeah, 3 is y1, Slope is rise over run, difference of y values. So 3 minus minus 9, so 3 minus minus 9 over 2 minus minus 5, 2 minus minus 3, I mean. That's the slope times x minus 2, which is x1, correct? So that becomes the equation of first line. So we have y minus 3 equals 2, that is 12, and uh, this is 5 and we get x minus 2. So cross multiply 5 times y minus 3 equals to 12 times x minus 2 and that gives you 5y minus 15 equals to 12x minus 24. And uh, now we can write this in standard form which is 12x minus 5y and bringing 15 to here it becomes plus 
15. So 25 minus plus 15 gives you 9, right? E equals to 0. So we get one of the equations as 12x minus 5y minus 9 equals to 0. So that's the first equation. Now let's find equation for line 2. Line 2, we are given two intercepts. One is at 3, the other one is at 4. So it's good to write equation in intercept form. So we can say x over 3 plus y over 4 equals to 1. Multiplying everything by 12 gives us 4x plus 3y equals to 12. And in a scalar form, you can say, or the Cartesian form, we can write this as 4x plus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. So we get both the equations L1 and L2, right? So let's highlight or number them. Let me highlight them. So first part of the problem is to find the equations of the line. Now let's go through the equation. It says find the equation of bisectors of the angle between these two lines. Now what does that mean? It really means that if I have a bisector here, let's say this is my bisector, okay, going through this intersection, then the distance of the line will always be same for any point, right? So if I take a point here, for example, then the distance with L1, which will be the perpendicular distance, which should be equal to distance with L2, right? So these two distances are equal. So that's the idea. Now if I have a point, let's say, we call this point P, let me give it a general name XY, right? You could write AHK or something, but sometimes I prefer to write XY itself. So if I have a point P with coordinate XY in general, then its distance from both the lines are same. The formula for distance is, if you are given an equation of the line in standard form, that is AX plus PY plus C equals to zero, and let's say point Q is X1, Y1, right, X1, Y1, then the distance is equal to absolute value of AX1 plus PY1 plus C divided by square root of A square plus B square, right? absolute value. So that's the distance formula which we can use and uh, equate both the distances to same value and find the answer. So that's what we will do, right? So let me move on to the next page. I need more space. So I'll first copy both these equations uh, and then we'll go from there. So what we have here is line 1 which is uh, 12x minus 5y minus 9 equals to 0 and line 2 which is 4x minus or plus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. So these are the two lines and we want the equations to be equal for the right bisector, correct? So, so distance from L1 should be equal to distance from L2 and using our formula uh, we get <coughs> uh, distance from L1 should be 12x minus 5y minus 9 divided by square root of 12 square plus minus 5 square square root, right? And that should be equal to distance from the other line, which is absolute value of 4x plus 3y minus 12 over square root of 4 square plus 3 square. So that becomes the equation to be solved. Now let's solve it. So we have here 12x minus 5y minus 9 divided by 12 square plus 5 square square root is 13. Okay. So these are the three numbers which are perfect squares. They're Pythagorean numbers, right? Triples. And here we get 4x plus 3y minus 12 divided by 4, 3, 5, right? 4, 3, 5 is your number. <coughs> now, this value inside could be positive or negative. That gives you two uh, bisectors, correct? So let's get back to our figure 
uh, where we are drawn something like this. So we'll just make a rough sketch to continue forward. Let's say we had drawn something like this. And we are looking for the bisectors of these angles, right? So one equation will be representing this line. The other one will be representing that line, right? So those are two bisectors. This plus and minus value gives you both these bisectors. That's the key, okay? So now we can solve for both these equations. So let's begin. So we can actually cross multiply here. So we have uh, 5 times 12x minus 5y minus 9 equals to 13 times 4x. Let me write plus minus. Uh, we'll take it later, right? So plus 3y minus 12. So let's open the bracket. So we get 60x minus 25y minus 45 equals to 52x and 13 times 3 is 39y minus 12 times 13 let's do it 156 I think 12 times 13 156 minus 156 is it okay so so we get this equation and uh, <clears throat> as you know it is both plus minus so let me insert I missed that part plus minus so that basically means that I have two equations here. Let me take it here. We'll, we'll write it here. So we'll bring first with positive thing to the left. So we have 60x minus 25y. I'm just copying the left part first, 45. And then take away these things. So minus 52x minus 39y and plus 156 equals to 0. So that becomes one of our equations. Is it okay? So now you can do 60 minus 52, which gives us 8x minus 25 and minus 39. They add up. So 9 plus 5 is 14, 1. So it just becomes 64y. And uh, the numbers, 45, you have to take away from here. So it is plus, take away 5, take away 4, 1, 1, 1 equals to zero. So there could be calculation errors, you can look into that part. However, you've understood the process. So this time, we took care with the positive sign, correct? And got one of our equations. Now, uh, let me do the second one. The second one will be 60x minus 25y minus 45. We'll take with the minus sign this time. So we'll get plus 52x plus 39y minus 156 equals to 0. Let's combine these terms. So this is 52 is with the x, right? 52x. Okay. So when you add 52 and 60, you get 2, 6, and 5, 11, 112x minus 25 from 39 will give you plus uh, 4, 14y. And add 156 and uh, 45. 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 and 5. 10. And then you get 2, 0, 1 equals to 0. So that becomes your second equation. So we'll have two bisectors here. One uh, as shown here, right? So, so finally, that is your answer. And I hope you have understood the method. The key here is that... <clears throat> Equate both distances, use plus and minus. That's kind of critical here. This is critical. That gives you both the equations, solve, uh, and then find your equation. I hope that helps. Uh, feel free to post your suggestions, comments, and share my videos. Thank you, and all the best.